Quantum Break. So there's a couple couple gaming things to take out of this. So Quantum Break, Microsoft announced, is going to be coming to Windows 10 and Xbox One as a cross-buy, which means if you buy it on one platform, you get it on the other. And so there was some initial backlash to this because I believe Quantum Break was going to be an Xbox exclusive. Oh. And then all of a sudden, hey, it's on Windows too. But it's not on Windows, I think, the way most people are thinking. It's going to be, I believe, through the Windows Store. And so, much like Tomb Raider is. And so, this is kind of an interesting thing that Microsoft is trying to do. They're trying to get these AAA Platinum titles into the Windows Store. And it sounds like a good idea, right? You can go to the Windows Store. It's better content. Microsoft can, you know, hopefully you'll poke around and whatnot. But there's some big problems uh, that most people aren't thinking about. And if you're not a gamer, you're not probably not aware of this. So any game that comes through the Windows Store, and this was uh, pointed out by a Redditor, you'll see where I'm going with this. Like, for example, Tomb Raider that came out. If you buy it through the Windows Store and you have an SLI or Crossfire setup, that game does not support dual graphics cards. Um, you also cannot get what most gamers consider critical, an FPS counter, which is your, your frame rate, will not show up. And you also can't turn off V-Sync. So if you have a G-Sync enabled monitor or something else, you can't turn this off. And so what this Redditor did, I believe his name was Rally Man, emailed Phil Spencer and said, hey, look, here's all the shortcomings of why I can't buy something through the store and I'm going to go back to Steam. Yeah, and, no kidding. Yeah. And so Phil, granted, he did respond, um, which is great. You know, transparency is always great. And he said, look, and, and I'll paraphrase here, he said, if you go back a year ago, we are leaps and bounds from where we were a year ago. But we have a lot of work to do. And he said, you know, thanks for the feedback. Make sure you put it on the the insider's forum post and all that stuff. But that's kind of the game situation. I think Microsoft really wants to get these titles in there. But if they're really going to take this seriously, they need to, I mean, think about it. Gamers spend a significant amount of money on their hardware. I mean, I just did it. If you buy two graphics cards, that can be a thousand bucks. And if it's not going to get supported, why would you use the Windows Store? So I see where they're going with this. And, and you got to be fair. When Steam launched, it was a hot mess, but it, you know, it's now the de facto of pl the platform. But here's Microsoft trying to kind of go up against it a little bit. But if they're going to do that, they need to be on equal footing. And right now they're not. So it, yes, Quantum Break is going to be coming to Windows through the Windows Store. And it kind of perturbed Xbox One users because they're like, we're losing an exclusive or something, something like that. Um, but the Windows Store is not all it's cracked up to be right now. Is that because it has but to be XAML? Is that a limitation of the platform? It's because it's got to be, it's got to fit in their framework, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And when the universal Windows platforms, I've heard this from several developers, are relatively underpowered for what they are. Right. So I think Microsoft, I'm really hoping we hear a build that the universal Windows platform is getting a big performance buff and all that. Because you think about it, why? Like, here's a perfect example. TripAdvisor just came out, and Microsoft made a huge kerfluffle about TripAdvisor coming to the Windows Store. But I can also go to TripAdvisor on the desktop, TripAdvisor.com. In the, in the and browser, get, yeah. Right, and you get more features. You get more reviews. It's a better experience in the yeah. browser. Why would I buy that yeah. app or, pay, or download that app? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a whole different conversation than the, the games, but it's... They need to do some improvements on what those apps can do. Spotify is another great example, or any other app. Why would you buy or go through the Windows Store when you can just download the EXE, a classic Win32 app right. that gives you more features? You know it's going to be supported. Granted, it's not going to show up on your phone for the 1% that has it. But, yeah, yeah that's a, a little disappointing.